Hey guys, this is your friend Shudish back with another video, and today we'll be checking out one of the AICP ROM or CM14 ROM for OnePlus 2. So, if you don't know how to install these ROMs, please check out my previous videos. Uh, the, their link will be given in the description section below. So please check them out. And also, these are the latest available ROMs for OnePlus 2. So. Let's see you on the other side after installing one of these rooms. Peace. Hey guys, I finished the initial setup and this is the first screen we will be greeted with. And again, I am facing that camera bug as you can see if I press record it stops so it's not working in this room also and also I tried it on oneplus camera app there also it's not working next up is a screen recorder and cam oneplus camera app this is the these are the apps you will have and uh, you don't have equalizer for music in this room as you had in CM14. There are some AICP extras. You can download the latest AICP from this link, latest nightly of the room. And here are some tweaks you can do. There are not many tweaks. Most of the headings are just written there, and there are no options below them so there are some of the features which are lacking in this one and uh, I haven't installed any app in this and uh, I'm facing a, a huge lag in fingerprint almost one second lag after you press the uh, fingerprint sensor so there the fingerprint sensor is very slow uh, in uh, giving the feedback or opening the phone unlocking the phone sorry so these are the first views of the after the initial setup and i'll come back with installing a uh, couple of or uh, few apps like uh, my six apps which i'll use for speed test and other common apps which generally people use and let's test phone's capability performance through and through the benchmark and geekbench and also the speed test so see you in that Part hey guys, I installed all the six apps. Sorry, fifth Play Store is already there. So after installing all these apps and uh, using the room for around one day, I have not faced many performance issues. It's good, but sometimes it's very slow. Uh, it uh, reacts after one second or so when you click something on settings or something like that. So let's check its uh, performance. So let's get into into the benchmark. So on into the benchmark, it scores 75,095, which is really good, and uh, it's above one plus two. As you can see here, it's 72,083. So according to that uh, into the benchmark score, we can say that uh, Android N has improved a lot in uh, onto the benchmark so let's check geekbench so in geekbench uh, as you can see it scores 629 and 3401 so i don't know if you can compare this yeah you can compare so after comparing when with ha huh, yeah with one plus two it's almost half so single core performance is again very low and the multi core performance seems to be uh, impressive yeah it's very good it's around 1800 more than what oneplus 2 has so yeah uh, according to benchmarks the android n looks better than X oxygen os which is based on marshmallow but still we can't say that it's better than uh, marshmallow oxygen os when it comes to daily usage 
as the camera app is not working and the fingerprint sensor is really slow so let's check the performance of the phone through gaming I'm using asphalted for it and let's see if there are any frame lags we face in this game so let's start so as you can see the graphics are quite good it's not lagging or something like that so yeah we can say that the gaming performance of the ROM is pretty good and uh, it's basically based on CM14 uh, the ACP ROM uh, it's just that they have done some little tweaks in CM14 and released a new version of CM14 so let's we'll be checking out the latest CM14 in the next video and I'll be doing the review of that so again the major bug which I face is the camera app is not working everything else is fine if the camera app starts working I think I'll uh, use, use this ROM for a long time uh, but let's wait and see because it's uh, it's one of the early builds and uh, it'll take time for the ROM to get, uh, get uh, it'll take time uh, for us to get a proper ROM uh, which works perfectly fine so yeah the gaming performance is pretty good uh, and as you can see it's uh, handling gaming pretty well and uh, also in this room also I faced uh, heating of the phone even after playing for 5 or 10 minutes so it's not as much as the early builds of CM14 which I uh, reviewed on my last video it's better than that so yeah but uh, it's uh, getting heated up quite significantly so let's check uh, how it performs in speed test so let's start the speed test and I connect to the same Wi-Fi again and I'll be using these six apps Clash of Clans, Asphalted, Clash Royale, Play Store, YouTube and Smash It and so let's get into the stopwatch let's start the stopwatch and start Clash of Clans first The major problem I'm facing in these rooms are that they get really heated up sometimes which I don't like uh, which was available in previous uh, early builds of Oxygen OS 2 when OnePlus 2 came out and it was new so with uh, updates and in Marshmallow they, with updates and software, different software updates the heating issue went down so now it's there in uh, Android N so let's see if they can if Synergen mode developers can solve the issue so YouTube smash it so let's check the multi core performance of the room So it's doing better than uh, the first build of uh, CM14 I was checking out uh, as uh, we saw so many as the multi core performance was really bad. So it's almost as good as the marshmallow rooms I was checking out like the Akinikan and uh, hexagon room it's 1 minute 28 seconds and the Hazagon room was only 26 seconds. So yes, the they've solved the issue of uh, multi-core performance as uh, in uh, CM14 of uh, September 14th, I guess we couldn't run more than three apps in the background. So now it's working pretty good. So that's it. And uh, if I, uh, I think pros and cons of the of this room will be same as CM14 except that the multi-core performance and the general performance has improved a lot so on, the only major con I am facing right now is uh, camera app if they can solve that issue it will be very good and uh, also I am missing some uh, Cyanogen mode features which are not working like sliding the notification bar to increase or decrease the phone brightness that is very handy and also some other Synergen mode features are not working and so I'll be 
checking HD developer site and uh, their work and when they release those ROMs in which they, it's working I'll be the first one to let you know guys and pros again uh, the performance is pretty neat it's very stable uh, since one day of usage I never saw any page lag or something so let's rate the phone on the basis of its performance battery performance, stability, customizability and user interface so phone's performance is pretty good I'll uh, rate it as 4 out of 5 uh, battery performance I would like to show you this uh, this is much better than early build of uh, CM14 as you can see uh, I charged it some 15 hours ago and still 29% of the battery is remaining and screen on time is around 4 hours right now with 29% of the battery remaining so it will reach 5 hours or 4.5 hours uh, easily so for battery performance I will rate 4 to 4.5 out of 5 and uh, stability I will rate 4 out of 5 it's pretty stable I didn't face any uh, app closures or something like that except in the starting uh, there was one feature which wasn't working I'll be showing you that uh, picture uh, to the picture of that and user interface it's again very good but uh, I'm missing out those uh, Cyanogen mode features so 3.5 out of 5 in customizability 3.5 or 3 out of 5 uh, 3.5 out of 5 for uh, because the ROM is lacking uh, CM14 features or Cyanogen mode basic features that is also not there so I'm waiting for those features so le let's uh, I'll see you in the next one with the latest build of CM14 which I don't know if it's so let's see if we get soon problem in, in that room or uh, if it's better than this one. See you in the next one. Do like and subscribe. Thank you.